Hi, I'm Dan Finkel, and I'm a math educator. There are two words that are really important to mathematicians, and those words are conjecture and counterexample. Conjecture is like a hypothesis in science. It's an educated guess based on what we know so far. And counterexample is a great one. A counterexample is an example that shows you that your conjecture is false. It, and I don't think it is going too far to say that mathematics as a field really has advanced by way of conjectures and counterexamples. I could almost lay out a history of the development of the number system that says like, oh, whenever you add numbers together, they always get bigger. Oh, but wait, what about zero? What about negative numbers? Those are counterexamples. And whenever you multiply numbers, you know, they always get bigger. But wait, what about a half? What about other fractions? There's a counterexample. And over and over again, we have things put forward which are shown to be either totally wrong or just partial truths we have to refine, we get better. This is kind of the nature of making mistakes and improving. Here's the good news, is you can use conjectures and counterexamples in your classroom. One of the ways I like to do this is I will just be willing to stake a claim, I will make a conjecture that I know is false. And when I do that, I am inviting my students to prove me wrong. And they know, because they've learned these words, that if they can come up with a counterexample, it doesn't matter how much evidence there is in my favor, one counterexample will prove me wrong. What this does is, first of all, it involves students in what is really a genuine and authentic mathematical problem-solving process. But it also is inviting them to break down how the process of problem-solving really works. Often when we give students a hard problem, if they don't know what to do at first, that's just a really scary place to be. But if we have defanged making wrong conjectures, then we can just try something and there's no cost if it's wrong because all we do when we're faced with a counterexample or some other proof that we got it wrong is we refine what we thought. We make it better, we make it stronger. And that's the process by which we go from being very fragile problem solvers and very afraid to ever say something wrong to just giving it a shot taking in the information, refining our shot, making it better, making our conjecture better and better, eventually we end up at something that is hopefully true. That's how mathematics has progressed, and the good news is that's how a mathematics classroom can progress as well. And students who are willing to just be wrong on their first shot are the ones who are actually advancing forward, climbing that steps, and, and getting to a place where they really own what they're doing.